Hi guys, welcome back. So if you don't know who I am, my name's Bianca. I've been traveling Australia for just over a year now with my husband and my two dogs. And we have been living in our caravan and trying to find out what Wi-Fi works best in the caravan. There's a lot of different options out there. So you have Telstra, you've got Optus, you've got Boost, you've got Vodafone, you've got, what are the other ones? Virgin. Virgin. Virgin Mobile, ones people don't know of. Um, so lots of different options out there, but I guess the main two that you have really to choose from are uh, Telstra and Optus. And I'm talking today around actual Wi-Fi and not phone reception and not phone like hotspotting from your phone. So when we left in March 2021, we left home and we had uh, this little Telstra dongle. Uh, it's just a 4G dongle, about $100, $120. And we had it with a prepaid um, SIM in it. And we thought like this will be good enough. Uh, we can hot hotspot from our phone and then when we need internet, we can just turn this one off and, and use it. Obviously we upload videos to YouTube, so we have a little bit more of an internet requirement than most. Uh, and this worked fine. It worked fine. Uh, and then a little, some things changed for us and I started working remotely and we had more devices connected to the system. So we needed something else that was kind of like a permanent Wi-Fi solution in the caravan that we could connect multiple devices to. So what I opted with was this one to start with, which is the RV Wi-Fi. And this device, I chose this one because you can insert both a Telstra or an Optus SIM into this one. And I chose this one because it came with this external antenna that you put on top of the caravan. I'm going to go through and do some speed testing, um, but we did end up moving from this one into a Nighthawk next gear. So this one, we purchased it outright from Telstra and I've tried to get it unlocked and I'm not sure if it's actually been unlocked now, if we can put Optus and Telstra in it, but we can give that a go. But we opted to go with this one. This one's on a 5G network and this one is on a 4G network. We've also had some troubles when we've been traveling around as to uh, getting Optus or having Telstra. So some places we've been have only had Telstra reception and some places we've been have only had Optus reception. So we needed the Optus as well. And yeah, so we, we've been trying to, to flick between both is it Optus or is it Telstra. So I've also got this little Optus dongle. And what I wanted to do today is just go through each one of them in more detail and do a speed test on each one of them for you so you can uh, get a view of yourself, which device you would want to go through when you're setting up your caravan. We've paid for all of these devices out of our own money and yeah, we just want to give you, give you the information and our thoughts on which one works best in the caravan and everyone's needs are different. So we are working from the caravan. So uploading YouTube videos, plus I actually work online um, at the moment, eight hours a day. So I need a constant instant internet stream. But if you're just traveling in your caravan and you just want to watch Netflix or check an email or check Facebook, uh, your needs will be a little bit different to that. So let's start. Uh, this Telstra dongle, little 4G dongle. I think they've got a newer model out there at the moment, but this is what I've got now. So what I'm going to do is pull up my phone, connect my phone to this device, and I'll do a screen recording for you. And I'm just going to go into the Telstra app to do the speed test for you. Okay, so I'm now recording on my phone. Um, I'm in the speed test in Telstra and I'm gonna, just gonna run this speed test for you. 
Uh, currently, we are located in Margaret River. So we're basically in town, in the centre of Margaret River. So we should have fairly good coverage here. And it's just going through. Okay, so we have, with our Telstra dongle at the moment, nearly 17 megabytes per second uh, for download and upload speed is 18 megabytes per second. So I guess for context, anything above like 10, I think is quite good internet speeds for downloads. So you're definitely gonna be able to watch Netflix. You're gonna be able to stream. Um, you can make video calls and that type of stuff. So anything above 10 is quite good. Okay, so our next device, I need to actually change my SIM because I just have the one plan at the moment into our next device. So the next one I'm going to try is RV Wi-Fi. Uh, so the RV Wi-Fi I might test on three different options. So we have these little antennas that come with the device. We have an external antenna here that um, you can pay to come with the device and then there's a high gain antenna that you can also get separately so we'll test with the three different antennas and I just need to plug it in uh, you need to use this little sim a noosey sim I think they call it put my sim in plug my sim into the actual device here and you need to make sure that the power is not on when you plug the sim in because if you're changing between Optus or Telstra it needs to reset so you'll need to plug the power. Is that turned on up there? Okay so we have lights and it'll go through and do its thing before I can connect to it. Got my RV Wi-Fi connected. I'll go back to the Telstra app and I'll now run another speed test on this one. Okay, so speed test done in the same location and we have 11.3 megabytes per second for uh, your download and 22.3 to eight seconds for your upload speed. So still quite good. You can still check your, inter uh, you know, watch Netflix, uh, browse the internet, streaming, but you can't do 4K or anything like that on this one. Okay, so now let's try with the other antenna. <clears throat> so we have this antenna. And my husband is going to go and simulate this being on the roof. And that piece, plug my bits in. So we've got. So we've got a new antenna. My husband's gonna go uh, hold that and simulate it onto the roof. Does that reach? Yeah, we the roof one. Yep, and running a speed test now. So number two for the RV Wi-Fi. Okay, so with the little round external antenna, we've got 12.55 megabytes per second and um, 20 megabytes for upload. So the 12 was for downloads. So slight, it's just a slight improvement on just the little antennas. Okay, and we have the third device. Ooh. So this is a high gain antenna. Now, 
didn't really come 100% with instructions and it only has one little antenna. So I'm just going to put the other ones back on just, I don't know, just in case I need them. I'm not sure if I do. This one, I just double check I'm still connected. Yeah. Telstra, another speed test on this. This is the high gain. This is the high gain antenna now. So we've got 8.42 megabytes per second at the moment for downloads and 25.97 for uploads. So that is not looking very good. Let me just double, double check. Let's take these ones out uh, and see if that makes a difference. And I'll also double check that I've plugged I might swap this one to this side and just double check on that as well. Okay, so let's do another speed test. So number two with the high gain antenna. And now it's saying internet has dropped out, so that is not right. We've got 11.44 megabytes per second uh, download speed and 19.56 megabytes per second for upload speeds. and let's go to the next one. So SIM card just goes in the back here, in the back of this next gear. Uh, I'd actually, I'll just say one thing about the RV Wi-Fi is it has to be connected to power. So it doesn't have a battery of itself has to be uh, connected to power all the time and has like some screws in there so you can fix it to the wall of your caravan. Uh, whereas this I think has a battery life of like five, four or five hours just by itself before you need to plug it in. So you do need to maybe take it with you in the car or go away from the caravan, you can uh, use that. And the RV Wi-Fi, I think it has about a 10 metre to 20 metre radius from the caravan that you can still connect to it. And I haven't tested this one, but I, I have heard that it is a bigger radius that you can still get connection from. Okay, well, let's just turn this one on. Okay, so now connected to the, this is a Netgear Nighthawk 5, I believe. I'll put all the details down below. Um, so I think it's the newest. I only bought that mm, probably about two months ago. Let's now do a speed test on our Nighthawk. Okay, so we've got uh, 37.98 megabytes per second for download and 48.29 megabytes per second for upload. So pretty good for just the device on its own without an external antenna. Um, we have purchased an external antenna for this. The external antenna that we purchased but I have not used yet so I'm not going to talk about too much in this video uh, is this 
um, pointing. It's a, uh, a MIMO 5G external antenna. We need to figure out how we're going to mount it. So there are a couple of options. You can mount it with a big pole to your drawbar or to the rear of the caravan. Or I've seen people use a wine guard antenna and attach it to the roof. So we need to figure out how we're going to attach that. But uh, we're in such good reception at the moment. There's no point in putting that up. I don't think it's going to make any difference. So what we will do is do another video where we're in a low service area and we'll chuck up the external an antenna and give you another view of that in the future. So that's Telstra. Now let's go on to Optus. Okay, so I have the first up is our little Optus um, $100 4G dongle. You can just pick up in any of the Optus shops. Okay, let's connect to that one and get a speed test going. Okay, so we have the uh, Optus speed test and we've got 10.24 megabytes per second and 13.3 megabytes per second for upload. So 10 for download, so you know, you can Check your emails, you can stream a uh, video and look at Facebook and everything that you need to do for that. But you can't do 4K with that type of speed. Okay, so we're going to chuck it over. I'll grab the Optus SIM and then I'll put it into the RV Wi Fi for you. So we'll let that do its thing and connect. And then I'll just connect my phone. Okay, so we've got 10.66 megabytes per second download speed and 17 megabytes per second upload speed. So you're getting about the same in this device as you were in this device, just on these little antennas. But if we now go and attach our high gain antenna, I'll get my husband to go put that out. So we have that high gain antenna on there. And let's have a look at our speeds. Okay, so we got 15 megabytes per second for download and 20 megabytes per second for upload using the high gain uh, antenna and the RV Wi Fi device. Okay, so I'm just, I haven't tried this yet. I did send a request to Telstra to unlink the Netgear device from them because I paid for it outright. Um, so I'm just going to give it a go and see if I can connect Optus through here. So it's a little feely changing the um, SIM cards over in this device. Like it's very easy to change them over in this one. I am now connected, um, I think, to Optus. Let's just do a speed test and see if we are connected to Optus. So de definitely this is the Telstra SIM that I've taken out, so it's definitely not Telstra connection right now. Okay, so yes, Optus is connected now to the Nighthawk. Um, and I have 59.05 megabytes per second in Optus data, uh, download speeds, and 37.49 megabytes per second in upload speeds. And this is on Optus in the Netgear 
Nighthawk 5, uh, which has been unlocked. So excellent for everything that you'd need it to do. Which is great, like I hadn't tested that before so I'm really, <laughs> really happy with that result there. So I guess in summary, which device would I choose for what situation? Uh, so there's a lots of different reasons and different needs of everybody that's traveling in a caravan. Um, you have people who just go for a holiday, uh, people who are doing a big lap, uh, people who are traveling full time and just live in their caravan. And then you also have people who are working remotely from their caravan. So there's a couple of different uh, options of people. So if I would say if you are just traveling in your caravan uh, infrequently, just not on a basis here and there that you might need to get some internet, I think probably my first option would be just to hotspot from your phone if you can. It's going to be the cheapest option for you. You already have a phone plan. Um, with phone plans, Telstra is probably the way to go. Um, you can also use Boost Mobile, has the same coverage as Telstra, and they're just covered everywhere throughout Australia. And uh, they have the most coverage, so they're not everywhere. We have had places where you can only get Optus, um, or places where we have gone and the Optus reception on internet is just better than the Telstra one, even though you're in a, a bigger town. Um, but yeah, I think the first option would be just hot, hot spot from your phone and see how you go. If you want something a little bit more, because these tend to pick up just slightly a bit big, better signal um, from a standard phone, uh, unless you have like a 5G phone, but if you've got a 4G phone, sometimes these pick up a little bit better internet. $100 dongle, you know? A prepaid SIM, or you can get a like a, a yearly prepaid SIM if you want for a couple hundred dollars, which gives you like a hundred or so gigs of data. And if you're only randomly using it, that would be good. There's a portable, you can, if you are just with the car away from the caravan, like great option. If you already have this device or you want something that is permanently installed into your caravan, has a permanent power source, and is easy to switch between providers, um, you know, RV Wi-Fi is a good device uh, provided you have an external antenna. So I wouldn't recommend just buying this device on its own. If you are going to work from the caravan and you need a constant source of internet that is reliable and will give you a better coverage than most devices, I would say the Netgear Nighthawk 5 is your option. Buy it outright, don't buy it on a plan, uh, and then if you can get it unlocked, you have the option of putting both Telstra and Optus into this device. You can also then buy the external antenna to boost this even further. So you could see just the device by itself has a pretty good signal received to it, and then if you need to boost it even further when you're off grid um, or you know beach camping or something like that then uh, that would be the option for me now we have the antenna we haven't tested it yet so we'll do another video in the future on uh, just boosting the signal that we get from here uh, comparison we'll do speed tests on what does this receive and then what did it receive with the the antenna put up. Now by all means I am not an expert in anything in antennas, anything Wi-Fi or technology based, anything like this. I am experienced traveller who has had a lot of frustrations about trying to connect to the internet and you know, some of those came from just trying to upload a video to YouTube or actually then starting to work remotely from the caravan and needing to have a consistent internet source for eight hours a day whilst I'm on Zoom calls or accessing remote systems and shared drives, etc. So needing to have that, that solid internet coverage, 
I have gone through lots of frustrations. We've come across places that only have Optus or have only have Telstra, and we've come through options where, say, Albany in NWA, you would think that that had a, quite a good Telstra coverage there, but when we got there, I think the Telstra reception was about two megabytes per second, and the Optus um, that we had was about 15 or 18, so the Optus was quite uh, better than the Telstra that we were getting at the moment. Um, granted, I did not have this device at that time. I only had these two, and the Optus was working better in those. So we have a lot of uh, episodes already on our channel if you want to go check them out if you haven't seen us already. We have uh, been travelling Australia for just on a year now, so there is heaps of good stuff out there to go watch. Uh, lots of stuff about travelling with the dogs and and working on the road. So feel free to go watch them. I'll leave some in the end cards for you to click on if you want to. And thank you. And yeah, thank you for sticking around watching. Please leave any comments in there, in the comments that you want me to go and address further and have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>